I really, when I started the vlog, it was for my grandkids because my grandfather is my hero and he passed away a few mm. years ago and he's mm. done. Some people say he's led more people to Christ in Arizona than anybody. And so wow. like, I love this guy. And I'm like, wow. I wish I saw him when he started. I wish I watched his journey there. And so wow. that's a big reason. Selfishly, I'm like, I'm doing this for my grandkids. All I have to say each and every week, it's all we do. If you haven't figured this out yet, Jesus is better. That's what we do every week. So today, man, that was uh, Randy Dotson. Uh, he was a great guy that uh, the funeral was for. He spent a lot of time really investing in me. He was super intentional. Every time I met with him, he would give me a, a word to think about. He would talk about a leadership principle. He would just talk about things he's learning in the Bible. That's one thing that really stuck out to me that I always want to have as I'm documenting my life, documenting my journey. I want to, and one of our core values at our church and our culture I'm trying to create is I want to be a person that never stops learning. And this man, he actually only retired from ministry a year and a half ago. And I would still, every time I met with him, he talked about a new book he was reading and he was encouraging me. He gave me books constantly and he, and he talked about different things in the Greek and I'm a huge Greek geek and uh, we would talk about words together. And it was so cool because at his funeral, several other people would just say like, that's what he loved to do. He loved talking about the importance of the Greek and it was just so inspiring and something that I'm really thankful for. And I hope as I document this journey that my life can reflect that is he really did finish his race well. Uh, I mentioned it in my message a few weeks ago. I think Paul in 1 Corinthians, when he's talking about running the race as to, to win the prize, I think he was talking run, finishing well in two areas, both missionally and morally. Missionally is something I think a lot of us don't think about. A lot of times we get so successful with a certain group of people and then we just stay with them and then eventually we become irrelevant. Randy, what was so incredible is he was always, I mean, at least with me, willing to, to learn from me and, and the things that I'm doing in ministry. And he was passionate about his grandchildren. And, and I love that. Like he was constantly seeking ways to make much of Jesus, despite how so much of the culture has shifted throughout his lifetime. And then morally, his wife that he was faithful to his entire life spoke so eloquently of him today. And I so desperately want both of those things. Uh, it really is an emotional week because on, on Wednesday of this week, it will mark four years since my grandfather passed away. And it's actually the whole reason I started the vlog. I desperately wish I could see what my grandfather was like when he was my age. And my prayer is that my grandchildren watching this video right now, years down the road, I don't have any grandchildren yet, they can say he finished the race well. Uh, it was just, oh man, there's just so much to think about. And it was such a privilege at the end when one of the guys said, Trey, can you pray for the casket? Uh, pray for him, you know, as they, they leave. And I wasn't expecting that. And I really was getting choked up thinking about everything that he's done for me. And, and, and man, I could just go on and on. I mean, this man, he, he actually fought three different forms of cancer in different stages of his life, and he won every single time. And, and they think that's probably why he passed away. Just his body was frail from all the chemo he's had over the years. But he's still faithful. I just want to encourage you. Man, I feel like we can get so caught up in so many things. And for me, I'm realigning my perspective today. I'm really thinking about how can I love people well, but especially from today's message, how can I just love my family well? His Man, in his wisdom, he cared most deeply for his family. And uh, I want to be that guy. I want to be, I don't want to be somebody who ignores my family, who pursues the things of this world, but puts family first and just cares about people. And one thing I mentioned in my prayer is what would be so cool to think about right now. Not only is he worshiping Jesus, but think about all the people who were there because of him and worshiping him. And that's what I love thinking about my papa, all the people he's brought into heaven with him and uh, what a privilege i just i want to be that i want to finish this race race missionally morally i want to go i want to walk to heaven with a limp because i just fought here with joy and compassion and i don't know man i just love looking at the people who've ran the race ahead of me i love seeing people who finish well and i just want to encourage you spend some time thinking about eternity today Spend some time thinking about who can you learn from, who can you call right now. And uh, huh, life is short. Guys, this week, these no, the last month 
we've had four deaths uh, that are kind of close to us, three of them involved in our church, my dad's church. One of them passed away by getting ran over on a freeway trying to be a good Samaritan. He was young, uh, way too young. Uh, Another one actually hung himself from depression and suicide. Another one, uh, she had a two-year battle with cancer, fought valiantly, and then she passed away just a few days ago. And then Randy passed away in his sleep. And all of them, it's incredible how all of them died different deaths at totally different seasons of life. Guys, we never know how much longer we have and we never know how much longer we have with others. Like, I'm so thankful I had a meaningful conversation with Randy just last week. And the last thing that really touched me was uh, Marjorie, his wife, handed me a DVD of uh, the story of Charles Spurgeon, a biography. And he said that he watched it recently and really wanted me to watch it. And I just love that he was always thinking of others and he invested in me. And even my dad mentioned in the message today, he's thankful for all the investment that Randy gave into my life, which he had, there was no reason for him to, you know, like I didn't bring him any value, but he was constantly intentional. Every conversation I had with him, there was a purpose. He brought something to me. He also learned from me. He asked me questions. Just incredible. Um, This is going to go over my 333 limit. Totally fine with that today. Man, guys, we have one life. Don't waste it don't oh man just so many emotions i'm thankful for those who finish well and i'm praying i do the same